Red Light Therapy, Miracle Medicine, by Mark Sloan is a thought-provoking and informative exploration of the potential health benefits of red light therapy. In this article, Sloan delves into the science behind this emerging treatment, discusses its applications, and raises questions about its broader implications for modern medicine. Sloan begins by introducing red light therapy as a miracle medicine, immediately capturing the reader's attention and hinting at the transformative potential of this treatment. He presents red light therapy as a groundbreaking alternative to traditional medical interventions, setting the stage for an in-depth examination of its mechanisms and effects. Throughout the article, Sloan provides a comprehensive overview of the science behind red light therapy. He explains that this therapy involves exposing the body to specific wavelengths of red and near-infrared light, which are believed to stimulate various cellular processes. By providing a clear and accessible explanation of the underlying science, Sloan helps readers grasp the rationale behind red light therapy's purported benefits. Sloan supports his claims by referencing scientific studies and experts in the field, lending credibility to his assertions. He discusses how red light therapy may enhance cellular energy production through the activation of mitochondria, improve blood circulation, and reduce inflammation. By presenting these findings, he effectively builds a persuasive argument for the therapeutic potential of red light. One notable aspect of Sloan's article is his exploration of red light therapy's diverse applications. He discusses its use in treating skin conditions, such as acne and psoriasis, and its potential in pain management and wound healing. By showcasing the versatility of this therapy, he emphasizes its relevance to a wide range of health concerns, appealing to a broad readership. Furthermore, Sloan delves into the psychological and emotional aspects of red light therapy, suggesting that it may have a positive impact on mood and mental well-being. He cites studies indicating its potential in alleviating symptoms of depression and anxiety. This holistic approach to health and well-being adds depth to his argument, demonstrating that red light therapy's benefits extend beyond the physical realm. Sloan's writing style is engaging and accessible, making complex scientific concepts understandable to a general audience. He employs vivid language and relatable examples to illustrate his points, ensuring that readers remain captivated throughout the article. This approach is effective in conveying the potential of red light therapy and encouraging readers to consider its merits. As the article progresses, Sloan raises thought-provoking questions about the broader implications of red light therapy for modern medicine. He ponders whether this treatment could revolutionize healthcare by offering a non-invasive and cost-effective alternative to traditional medical interventions. This speculative element adds a layer of intrigue to the article, inviting readers to contemplate the future of medicine and the role of innovative therapies. While Sloan's article is compelling and well-researched, it is not without its limitations. One potential criticism is the relatively limited discussion of potential risks and side effects associated with red light therapy. While he briefly mentions the importance of safety precautions, a more comprehensive exploration of potential drawbacks would have provided a more balanced perspective. In conclusion, Mark Sloan's Red Light Therapy, Miracle Medicine is a captivating exploration of the potential benefits of red light therapy. Through a combination of clear scientific explanations, diverse applications, and thought-provoking questions, Sloan effectively makes a case for the transformative potential of this emerging treatment. His engaging writing style and well-supported arguments contribute to a compelling narrative that challenges readers to consider the future of medicine and the role of innovative therapies in healthcare. While the article could benefit from a more thorough examination of potential risks, 
it succeeds in shedding light on the exciting possibilities offered by red light therapy.